بسم الله الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله ما بعد السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر الحمد لله I was at a masjid in Birmingham as most of you know I'm living in Birmingham right now and um, after the salah alhamdulillah the sheikh uh, the imam mentioned that there's a brother who's been attending the Islamic classes at the masjid they have like a revert classes and alhamdulillah the brother accepted Islam alhamdulillah witnessed it live alhamdulillah rabbil alameen and I thought let me just share this and inshallah it can be a means of inspiration for others as well I asked the brother a white brother, alhamdulillah, a Christian brother from England, young brother, he looked like in his mid-twenties. And I asked him what made him accept Islam. And I love to hear this. I absolutely love to hear when people who have seen the darkness, who have seen the falsehood, who have you know asked questions, who have doubted what they are believing in, and then Allah shows them the light, right? And I asked him, I asked the brother, I was like, look, you know, um, his name was Johnny before. Now his name is Yahya. Alhamdulillah. As you know, uh, John, right, is Yahya, the Prophet Yahya. May Allah keep him on the path of Prophet Yahya and of course Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. So I asked him, I said, bro, you know, what made you accept Islam? What was the thing that made you, you know, think, you know what? Yeah, this is it. And Alhamdulillah, he said, and I've never heard this before, to be honest. He said, it was just the, 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 the feeling of togetherness in Islam. How the brotherhood and the sisterhood in Islam. And I thought to myself, subhanAllah. You know, we always hear about, oh, the fact of Allah, how Allah is described in Islam. How Jesus is described in Islam. How, you know, the Quran's preservation and so many other things, miracles in Islam, right? In the Quran that's mentioned. But it was about this that he said, subhanAllah, it's the unity. It's the unity. And of course, alhamdulillah, at the masjid, there was a you know, good number of brothers there. Giving them, giving him hugs, making him feel like part of the ummah, part of the billion Muslim family. Alhamdulillah, he was getting overwhelmed as well. But it was just beautiful. It was just beautiful, and and this is this is what it is. And he said, "Look, you know, it's just the people coming together." So, as Muslim brothers and sisters, don't forget, don't underestimate the power of the unity factor in an Islam. You know, we we underestimate that sometimes. We think like, you know, yeah, we're one ummah, but are we really one ummah? <laughs> you know, subhanAllah, the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, he said, we are one body. We just should be one body, right? He said, that's Allah, Allah, we are one body. And he said, if one part is being affected, the other part should also be affected. I'm paraphrasing here, but that's what he said, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, and that's what we should be. And that and, and it becomes a source of da'wah. Look at this, right? This becomes a source of da'wah, for those who don't have this, for those who don't taste this, they taste the sweetness of the ummah factor that we have in Islam. And they look around and he said himself, he's like, you know, nowadays people have become me, myself and I. You know, everybody's just wanting their own thing. They become, you know, their own, they become selfish. I mean, he didn't say that, but the meaning was there. That, and you can see that and he mentioned about the materialism factor that everybody just wants to fulfill their own desires subhanallah right rather than looking at okay how can i be a good person and how can i help other people and that's what he said actually he said you know i just want to be a good human being and i in islam i found that that and it is about helping others so again a reminder for all of us brothers and sisters that we should always be people who are not only thinking about themselves, but how we can help others. Whether it's making someone smile, whether it's someone giving someone words of advice. As we know in Islam, this is all part of charity, it's all part of sadaqah. And you just don't know, brothers and sisters, how your support, whether it's financial support, whether it's physical support, emotional support, mental support, whatever support you give, how that can be a means of somebody becoming a Muslim. Right? May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept this brother as a Muslim, of course, and, and he's the first person in his family to accept Islam. He mentioned that as well. So we make dua that, you know, through him, others get guided. But also on this part, I re remember the hadith of the Prophet, peace be upon him. He said, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, this religion will enter every house. And this is a another I mean, of course, we hear about shahadas pretty much every day, alhamdulillah, all around the world. But when you witness it live, when you witness it you know, in person, it just affects you in a different way. And when you ask, when you go deeper into it and you think about how it happened, why it happened, when it happened, where it happened, it makes you appreciate these type of prophecies, these type of miracles of the Prophet, peace be upon him, where he is mentioning 1400 years ago, 
our Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam is mentioning 1400 years ago that this religion, this Deen of Allah, this Islam is going to enter every single house. Right? Meaning what? It's not that everyone is going to become a Muslim. Don't think like that. He just said every single house. It means maybe one person in a house is a Muslim. Maybe other people are not, but at least one person is. Right? And this is an example of that. That in his house right now, subhanAllah, there's only one Muslim and that's him. So we ask Allah that who, who are other people who are like this, that they become a means, they become a reason for others in his family or her family, whoever they might be around the world, where it's just one person, the others also become Muslim because of their da'wah. And I told him as well, of course, that the best, one of the best ways to do da'wah is what? Your character. Your character. So a reminder to all of us as well that always try to beautify your character. As we are told by the Prophet wasallam, the heaviest thing. Not, there's, there's different things about on, on day of judgment that's going to be held accountable. But he said wasallam, that the heaviest thing, the heaviest thing, subhanAllah, is going to be your character, brothers and sisters. So may Allah allow us to have beautiful characters that, so that other people look at our character and they become Muslim or they get guided or they get inspired to become better Muslims or better human beings. And of course, it's like accept Islam. May Allah accept it from the brother who made him come as well. May Allah allow us all to be sources of da'wah to others. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.